All right, well, let's get started. It's 10 o'clock. So we're gonna start standing. So um, no props to start, but nice and tall. And we're just gonna keep our feet again about hip bone distance apart. We're just gonna turn your palms towards me. Arms are down by your side. You're gonna inhale, lifting the arms up, and exhale, bringing them back down. And again, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. So just notice your breath moving with your arms. Rounding down and form a roll down. So sinking down nice and low. Pause at the bottom. Take 
straight. We're going to go into our door. So lifting and lowering the shoulder blades up off the mat. Head stays down. Neck doesn't lift. Neck is nice and relaxed. Good.
exhale, you lower it down. So we'll start with our leg raises. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure to breathe. Good. We're going to hold that leg up towards the ceiling. We're just going to take the leg over just slightly. Both hands will come to the outside of that leg, just holding the leg here. Point and flex the foot. So feeling a stretch through the outer hip and leg, through the IT band area. Good. Keep the foot in a neutral position. Keep the leg here. Arms will come down by your side and you're going to your nice big leg circle. Inhale and exhale. Keep the core engaged. You can go in the other direction with your circles. And remember, we want to keep our pelvis nice and still. So don't lose that core engagement. One more time. Good. And bringing the leg in. Hugging the knees in towards the chest and just rock back from side to side. Okay, so we're going to take the legs out straight. We're going to do our roll up. So legs are out straight. Arms will come all the way overhead. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, lifting yourself up, reaching your hands towards your feet, and then coming down one vertebra at a time, nice and slowly. So again, remember, if you struggle coming up, you can use an arm to help push you up. But on the way back down, really focus on going nice and slowly. Try not to fall. That's it. We'll do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Reach. All the way back down. Okay, so you can roll or push yourself up. So coming back up into the sitting position. We're going to go into our rolling like a ball. So this is another classical exercise. If you don't want to do the rolling like a ball or put any pressure on your spine, if you just don't like it, I'll show you a modification. So up nice and tall, hands will just come to the front of the... Uh, shins. We're just going to rock or rock off our sit bones. So just roll off the sit bones. So you're just balancing here. So this position here is your modification if you don't want to do the rolling like the ball. So this alone is working that deep inner core. If you want to do the full rolling like the ball, you're going to try to bring your forehead towards your knees. So you want to try to get yourself in that small ball position. You're going to keep yourself in this position as you roll back. Come all the way back up. So you want to roll just to the upper back, not onto the neck. And again, try and keep that forehead towards the knee. Okay, let's do three. Inhale and exhale. Good, last one. Good, excellent. Okay, so rolling back. Scooch myself down. We're going to roll back. We're going to bring the hands behind the head. We're going to curl up to the tips of our shoulder blades. We're going to go into our crisscross and twist. Working into the obliques. Inhale and exhale. Let's do four, three, two. Last it. Good. Come back to center. Lower the head down. If you want, you can place the hands just at the base of your um, spine. So right nice and low. Just so you're on a little bit of an elevator or a lift. We're going to extend both legs out straight. You're going to lift the legs up towards the ceiling and then lower them down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So really working into that lower abdominal. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do four. Three. Two. Bringing the knees in, lowering the feet down. Good job. Okay, so come on up into sitting. We'll do a little bit of spine work. We're going to do our neck pull. So this is a nice one to stretch out the whole back of the body. So we're going to keep our legs together. Again, if it feels uncomfortable in your hips or low back, you can bend your knees. Or you can sit up on something if you need to. Otherwise, if you're okay, keep your legs out straight. Feet are flexed. Legs are together. Hands will come behind the head. We're going to bring the elbows in. We're going to pull from the back of the head as we bring our chin down towards our chest. 
And then lifting up, elbows come nice and wide. And again, pull. So it's not a rounding of the spine, it's a pulling of the chin towards the chest. We're staying nice and tall, just moving that head, tucking the chin. Two more. Inhale.
stretch. And then lower it back down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Got it. Do four. Three. Bringing the tailbone all the way down. It just touches the mat and then pop it back up. Last one. We're going to hold ourselves up in our bridge. I'm just going to lower the tailbone halfway and press up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good. For four. Three. Two. Last one. You're going to hold yourself up here in your bridge. You're going to take one leg up in the tabletop. You're going to go to toe tap on that side. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. For five. Four. Three, two, last one. Good. Bringing the foot down. Make sure the hips are level. Pressing into the other foot now. You keep the other leg up in the tabletop. And then start your toe tap. Inhale and exhale for five, four, three, two, Hold 
the shoulders back, we're going to press up and up. Keep the arms in close to the body to press and press. That's it for eight, seven, six, five, four. Neck is nice and long. Two, last one. Lift the arms up, maybe little circles. Again, keep the shoulders away from the ears. You're going to start to feel this in the back of the upper arms.